Welcome to Character Animator 101. In today's episode, we are going to talk all about how to create uh, your own character, how to design your own character inside of Photoshop, and how to get there. So let's begin. All right, the first thing that we need to do is open up Character Animator. Once Character Animator is open, we need to come up here to this Home button in the top left corner. When we click on that, we're going to have all, all sorts of options. We can start our first tutorial, make a puppet, or try online tutorials. Well, we don't want any of those. We want to go straight here to the See More button. This See More will open up to a new page, and it'll have a whole list of download uh, downloadable puppets that you can have. What we want to do is we want to scroll down and we want to find our blank download. So this is just a, a basic person and we are going to download this. And when we download this, um, we're going to open it up inside of Character Animator and we'll be able to design from there. So I'll click on this download button, go into our downloads, click on that. It'll open up a new folder for us. And inside of there, there's going to be two different options. We have Illustrator and Photoshop. Today, we will be working with Photoshop. So we can go ahead and double click that. And we will see there that it opens up automatically inside of our, um, our project. Okay. What we want to do then is if we move around, our guy moves around. When we talk, he talks. In order to edit, our character, what we have to do is we have to click on our character up here. So we have a scene icon and we have a little person icon. Once we click on that, we can then come down to the bottom and find PS, which stands for Photoshop. When we click on that, it's going to automatically open up Photoshop for us. And once Photoshop opens up, we're going to be able to dive into the layers and we'll be able to make the adjustments and the needed the needed changes. All right, now that Photoshop is opened up for us, um, it's first off important to understand the layout of the layers over here. Um, before we do that, I'm going to reset my workspace and I want you to follow along and let's see, reset essentials. What this does is this shortens my layers. So the first thing I want you to do is click on your layers and drag it up here into the properties right next to the properties um, and what that does is that allows us to um, and actually we're going to take our channels bring our channels up there and our paths and then we can take this and click and drag that up and click on layers and i'm going to click that and drag that over to the left okay what this does is this allows us more space in order to work here and so if we close the head um, folder, we can click on this little download here, or this little drop down arrow, excuse me, and do the same with the body. Over here, there's an eyeball. If we click on the eyeball, things start disappearing. Okay. Since today, we're only going to focus on the head, we are going to click on this eyeball and we're going to hide the body. Okay. So we can just ignore that for now. Inside of the head layer, we will notice We'll notice a mouth, sad mouth, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, left eye, right eye, nose, and a face background. In order to start making changes and make sure that we get them in the right place, so let's say, for example, that I just create a basic shape. I'm just going to create a circle. Okay, that circle, when we click back on layers here, ended up just inside of our head, but it covered up everything else. So we need to be able to understand where these layers are in order to um, in order to create our character properly. So if we want to create a new shape for the head what we need, and a new color, what we need to do is come down to the face background. If we click on that and go inside of here um, and we click replace, if we hide the eyeball, we can see that this shadow right here is changing. If we click on this eyeball next to the head, the head changes. Here is his right ear, and this one is his left ear. Okay. Basic tools over here that we need to know is first, we need to click on our move tool. 
If we hover over it, it shows Remove Tool. It also shows the letter V on our keyboard is our shortcut. So let's go ahead and hit V. Let's go ahead and click on that. And then up at the top, we have Auto Select and Show Transform Controls. Without that, it doesn't show which layer is selected. With it, I can come in here and I can select just a specific one. And you'll notice that the layer changes, which is pretty nifty. Um, if I don't have auto select and I try and click on something else, it doesn't change the layers. It just stays on the current layer. And we have to physically come over here and click on that layer. Without show transform controls, I really have no visual except what's here in my layers of what is going on. So please, please, please select auto select and show transform controls. Those are your two best friends. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and change this square. First, I'm going to select this shadow and I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard. It's gone. Um, and let's make him, let's make him a square head. So if I hit the letter U on my keyboard, U um, brings it down to, oh, excuse me. It brings it down to my shapes tool. If I hover over this, um, it's going to tell me that it's my ellipse tool, but I want a square. So if there's a little triangle here next to it. So if I click and hold that, I can then get to what is called a rectangle tool. And if I just click and drag my rectangle tool out, um, it's going to create either a rectangle or a square, but I don't know what a perfect square is. So if I hold down shift, shift will allow me to create a perfect square. And I keep holding down shift until I get the square that I want. And then I let go with my mouse and then I can let go of shift. Now you'll notice that it's yellow. It shows up the fill color here as well as up here. So I can select this color up here and let's check the hot pink. Well, we notice that it changed here and it also changed here. So if I click over here and I change it back to yellow, um, then that changes perfectly for me. Okay. Um, I then use my move tool and I can drag this all the way back up to where I want it. Okay. So we notice that it's not quite big enough. And so what I want to do is click and drag. And you'll notice that without holding down shift, it stays proportionate. I can use my arrow keys left and down to readjust my guy. Okay. I no longer need this, his, his, his round head. So I'm going to take that and I'm just going to hit the delete button. Um, so if I hide this layer, it leaves his ears, his eyes, nose, mouth, and eyebrows, but there is his head. Now, do we want his head covering his ears? No. So let's move his ears out. So we can see that this, his right ear is selected. So I can hold down shift and use my arrow keys, or I can just use my arrow keys. Bring this one out to the right. Perfect. So now is here is our square headed character. Okay. Um, now let's go back over to character animator inside character animator. There are absolutely zero changes. He still looks like the old person that uh, we started with. So back in Photoshop, if I hit command S command S that will go through and save. And I don't know if you saw that, but it saved right there. And we go back over into character animator. It'll import the artwork and bada boom, bada bing. I now have talking square head and no body because the body's hidden and we got rid of his round head and now he has a square head okay. so that's how to get the basic shape let's say that we want to change his eyebrows all we have to do is go over to his eyebrows remember his right eyebrow which is our left um let's open up this folder and see what we have we have just one shape okay so i'm going to take that and I'm going to delete it. I want a triangle eyebrow. So I'm going to come down here to my shapes and we're going to get a triangle. And I want it really tall because I'm going to rotate it sideways. I don't want it yellow. So actually I want, I want the same color, but so if I hit the letter I on my keyboard, I turns to an eyedropper color. It's a color selector. And so I can come in here and I can select any color 
and it changes the color right here. And so I want brown. And so if I fill that, it automatically shows here the recently used colors. So there is my eyebrow. So when I go back into my layers, um, my triangle is now inside of my right eyebrow. So I can click this and drag it up, and it is now my new eyebrow, but I want to rotate that. So if I come, let's zoom in here, Command Plus zooms in. If I come here to the outside corner, you'll notice that my cursor changes from the regular Move tool to a circular arc shaped with two arrows. So if I click that, I can rotate that around and then hit enter and then click and drag that down. Perfect. Okay, so I don't want this to say triangle one. I want this to say right eyebrow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on the word. When I double click on the word, I can rename this. Uh, oh, I want right eyebrow. And then I hit enter when I'm done. Notice if I don't click on the words and I double click next to it, it brings up completely different options, which we do not want. Okay, so make sure that you double click on the words if you want to rename it. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this same eyebrow and let's get rid of the left eyebrow. So I'm going to select the left eyebrow, hit delete, and I'm going to take this guy, hold down option and click and drag. And then I'm going to take and rotate him the other way. and then click and drag them over. Now, what do we notice about the layers is his left eyebrow is still under the right eyebrow folder and it says right eyebrow copy. So let's double click on this. We're gonna rename it. We're gonna call it left eyebrow. And then we need to click it in this layer and drag it down to left eyebrow. So we're gonna click, drag it down. And now we are in the left eyebrow. So we're going to go ahead and command S and save it. And then we're going to go back over to character animator. It's going to import the artwork and we'll notice that his eyebrows change from arcs to triangles. And if I move my eyebrows up and down, he moves his eyebrows up and down. If I close my eyes, he closes his eyes. Pretty cool. So that right there is how we change different shapes. And we have to make sure that we keep the same layer and get it in the correct order. Okay. You'll also notice that up here, everything is inside a folder called blank. So I'm gonna double click on that. And you'll notice that there's a plus button. We wanna keep that plus there. So I'm gonna call this guy square head because he is a square head. Okay, hit command S, save it. As we go back over here to character animator, it still says blank right here. It's pretty scene. And so just because we made that change there doesn't actually mean that it changed here. So that is the basic way to create um, and change different Photoshops and how to get the layers properly um, situated inside of Photoshop. Okay, it's, 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 it's time to quit now. It's time for you to stop.